is a presentation of the iRacing Esports Network. The most realistic online racing sim ever made. This is iRacing. Detailed laser scan tracks. Fully dynamic, real world cars. And over 50 series to choose from. Six online world championships offering over $100,000 in annual prizes. This is the original eSport racing game. This is iRacing.
Welcome one and all to the iRacing Esports Network. We are SimSpeed TV. It's been an interesting night of racing so far here in the World Cup of iRacing. We are gearing up now for Oval Match 2. We saw Road Match 2 earlier on in the night, which saw Finland face off against Japan. Finland won convincingly in the Lotus 79 at Brands Hatch, but now... The Japanese get a chance to go up against UK and Ireland, strutting their stuff around the ovals. This is the NASCAR Trucks at Michigan Speedway. My name is Reese Gardner. In the commentary box alongside me, Bo Albert. Bo, it's looking like some pretty close qualifying times out there. Yeah, it is. Some ultra close times. And of course, we have a tie for second and third at the moment. That's just how close it is. Just millimeters around this circuit means so much when the stopwatch eventually gets stopped at the end of the start finish straight. And we also have four, well, the top four all within a tenth as well. And uh, the entire pack, well, the top 13 at least, all covered within a second. So, whereas we saw Yoni Heiken pretty much in a league of his own last time in the Lotus as a brand's hatch. There is not a single driver that's going to be able to replicate that at Michigan. No, certainly not. Dave Walsh on pole position for this one for UK and Ireland. But uh, uh, Japan has really brought their A game to this one. They currently occupy second, third, fifth, sixth, and eighth, uh, as well as tenth. So there's quite a bit of representation for those guys at the moment. Now... Before we go into the race session, this format is uh, the same, more or less, as it was in the road session. We got two 15-minute heats, one of them a complete flip of the grid. But, Bo, usually there's cautions in oval racing, not so here. No, not at all. And, of course, in NASCAR racing or oval racing, one of the most exciting parts of the racing is always green flag pit stops and how you get yourself on a pit road. Well, we're guaranteed to have that because, like you said, no cautions. If there's a wreck, it's unfortunate, but they're going to keep the foot on the floor and uh, it's going to be very, very uh, quick paced all the way to the checkered flag, which should be fantastic to watch because uh, these trucks, you know, some say it's one of the lower divisions of NASCAR, which it technically is, but they're definitely not slow vehicles. Certainly not. And, uh, of course, we should remind you all that... Uh they do have to take one pit stop in every race. So, the grid on screen as follows. Dave Walsh for UK and Ireland on pole. For Japan, it's Hiroshi Shimizu and Daisuke Yamanaka making the top three. Mark Usher in fourth. Naoya Nagai in fifth. Shigeru Ogawa in sixth. Jonathan Rex in seventh. Shuji Aratani in eighth. And the top ten rounded out by David Grunel and Daichi Takamori. Kicking things off from the sixth row of the grid will be Shogo Nishiguchi with Ryo Fujisaki joining him on that row of the grid. On the seventh row, we have Stuart Pomfrey and Christian Schalliner. So they'll be looking to work their way through the field a little bit, but not as much as our last row of the grid, which concludes with Fraser Williamson for Bushfink Racing and Ian Cornish. But anyone who gets their pit stop phase right in this race can stop on the box correctly, can slow themselves down to pit road. Absolutely anyone can win this race race. Yeah, certainly. It all comes down to the way you take that green flag pit stop because these stock cars, they're awfully good at going fast, but absolutely horrendous at slowing down. So you've really got to time your brake application perfectly. Going out on their formation lap at the moment behind the iRacing first pace car. Using the Mustang for the ovals. Another rule for this one is that you are not allowed to make passes below the yellow or white line. You see the apron down there. Uh, not allowed to go underneath it to make a pass. So the drivers have to be careful about that as well. Yeah, and I think that's a good rule as well because we also saw, well, me and you were just watching a practice before a race, and a lot of cars that did decide to go below that yellow line, it got very, very loose on them. The back end was trying to snap out a little bit. And we also saw a couple of crashes as well. So staying below that yellow line, not only does it keep things a little bit more safer, but we should get some harder, more respectable racing with having that track limits and uh, drivers just know what they're up against as they head into three and four before the green flag. Yes, indeed. And uh, Michigan is one of those ovals that has a pretty unique way of driving around it. The fastest line around here is actually a car width or so up from the bottom. So 
The drivers are going to have to be careful about that as well. You don't want to go too low. So Dave Walsh leading the field away here. The pace car pulls in. It's up to him now to control the field for this 15-minute race. Away he goes. The green flag flies. Away we go at Michigan. Getting up to speed very slowly. Daisuke Yamanaka going for the move on. Well, actually being passed by, sorry, Mark Usher. Coming into turn one. And now as they reach higher and higher speeds, this bow is where the draft is going to come into play. And Michigan is a very fast circuit. It's a little bit like a super speedway or a mini super speedway as second and third continue to scrap it as they head into three and four. Very close to between Shimizu and uh, Mata. So Shimizu at the moment is rocking the Sonic paint job, but he is just not going to fight that move happen across the start finish line. Yes, indeed. We've got a bunch of guys going into the pits. Five drivers going into the pits here at the end of the first lap. Meanwhile, Shimizu and Usher still going at it. Oh, so close between these two. Usher just trying to go for that inside line, but Shimizu is maintaining the momentum of that higher line. Very important at this track. Usher all going for the pits. Leader going for the pits. Usher going for the pits. Shimizu staying out and Usher gaining just a little bit there on Dave Walsh. But they got to remember, they are teammates, so they don't want to try and race each other too hard. It's priority number one for UK and Ireland to go up against the Japanese. Meanwhile, third and fourth have stayed out. Yep. Apologies, um, seem to be having a couple of technical issues on um, a couple of our ends, but uh, race still going on as per usual. Shimizu leading as uh, I'm joined by Jay Kennedy. Jay, you love your ovals, don't you? I do love my oval racing. This is my element right now. We've got uh, another pit of top four still yet to pit, but Hubble coming out of the pit. Challen has been the big mover. He's now checking up the entire field. He started with third last. He's up into eighth. He's making a lot of ground right now. Yes, indeed. Doing very well here is uh, Mr. Challoner. He uh, is pursued by Aratani. Now, as these drivers have made their green flag pit stops, this is one thing that you can be pretty much assured of. There's a lot to gain and a lot to lose in the pits as the number nine comes out behind these guys. That's uh, Nishiguchi. So he's going to come out basically level with these guys. It'll be up to him to try and get in that draft as soon as he can. Got two cars side by side. Fraser Williamson. Tamakori. Oh, almost contact between these guys side by side through turn four. Tamakori through. Three cars still yet to pit, all from Team Japan, as Dave Walsh comes out ahead. Nagai, after he uh, has made his pit stop, so three to pit still. Walsh still the effective leader, but uh, I think this is going to be pretty close from their back. Yeah, definitely. The the drivers are really closing up on each other here. Nagai actually uh, falling into the clutches of. Um, the 78 and the 71. Challoner, well and truly in the draft here. So this could get pretty spicy as they come around to start lap six. It's a good fight here and I'm amazed how clean this has been so far as well. Normally in these sort of races, so short 20 laps, we'd see a fair few wrecks, but knowing that there's no cautions, I think there's a little bit more to play for for these guys. Also one chance essentially, if you get involved in a wreck, that's ruined it for your entire team. Yeah, that's exactly right. Because uh, once again, there's no yellow flag periods, no pace car cautions. So if you make one mistake, if you have a spin, a bit of a crash, then you have no chance of getting that back. Another thing with that too is you don't want to have a crash and end up taking out your teammates who might be just behind you as well. If you're in a pack of cars knowing that there's a couple of teammates around you, 
you're going to be more cautious than ever. Because if you take yourself out and two of your teammates, that could ruin your night and ruin any chance of progression through into the next round. Indeed it could. Speaking of progression through the next round, uh, Japan currently occupies the top three spots. They uh, still have not pitted, though, up the front there. And the guy going side by oh. side. Oh, goodness me. These guys are teammates. Be, uh, don't want to be fighting too hard like yeah. that. Yeah, don't want to be doing that too much. They but they seem content to, uh, <laughs> to have been doing it for the last couple of laps. Meanwhile, that's a car coming out beneath them. That is Shigeru Ogawa. So he was one of the right top that, three. Got to come right out in that big pack. But Challen has been the one that's played this right, pitting on that first lap. Gone from 14th to 5th. Remember, the next race, they reverse grid. So uh, it will get mixed up once more. But um, yeah. Ogawa's coming out behind a big, busy pack right now. This is going to get quite spicy here. Yeah, it definitely is. I'm just seeing the number 18 <laughs> trying to go up the inside of the 81. Of course, Ian Cornish in the 81 for UK and Ireland versus two Team Japan members here. And this is the magic Three. spot too, Reese. It's position 10. is the last scoring position. If you're in 11th, you might as well crash out and finish last. So this is pretty spicy here for the last points in this race. Yeah, it certainly is. And... Who knows, depending on the composition of the top 10, it may make all of the difference here. One car left to pit, and there's almost oh. contact between Cornish and Agawa there. This is getting very, very intense here. Halfway through the race, pretty much, 11 laps to go. I can't see this finishing clean, especially the way these guys are going at the moment, but it's great to watch right now. Yes, yeah, certainly is. So now Fraser Williamson is joining Ian Cornish in this battle. Williamson getting past uh, or trying to get past Takamori but he's just not able to get that momentum everyone has now entered the pit lane Dave Walsh three second lead over Challoner Shimizu is away we'll see where he comes out I think he's going to drop back into about third or fourth in between Challoner and Usher potentially yeah it seems that way so yeah, Dave Walsh has already well and truly gone by, but tell you what, Challoner is uh, not gaining on Shimizu as much as I thought he would. He's he is go going to get by him. By. Yes, but still, Shimizu is in a very good position here. He hasn't lost too much ground. He will be getting some draft there from, uh, from Challoner. So there is a good chance that he might be able to salvage something out of this. And I'll tell you what, just quickly trying to work out the points in my head, I think it's very, very close. If the drivers finish in their current positions, it'll be slightly in the favour of UK and I, but there won't be much in it. So this is going to be a really, really interesting fight all the way down to the end. And that last position, that magic number 10 spot, it's going to be so crucial as there's almost contact between teammates. Oh. Take it easy, boys. Stuart Pomfrey trying to get through here to take that 10th position away. Yeah, versus Shigeru Ogawa. Trying to take that inside line as Pom Free, but Ogawa is able to maintain the momentum once again on that outside line. Oh, has to slot back in behind. So Pom Free's managed to get by. But now they're going to go three wide. This could not end well in most circumstances. Also said another move too, Race change for fourth and fifth in saying that. Yeah, oh. um, Yamanaka oh, almost yeah. looped it around oh, in no. contact with his That's teammate as well. Aratani into the wall. Oh, no. Oh, what a shame for Japan. That is going to hurt them quite a bit. That might be race done. But Aratani there, he was doing a great job. He's going to put a lot more pressure on his teammates now, but this final spot in the top 10 is getting very, very heated right now. Humphrey up to 9th, Williamson is. in 10th. This is going to get really intense. Seven laps to go. Yes, indeed. And uh, Ogawa and Nishiguchi are behind these guys, so their priority now is to try and work together to get by these two UK and Ireland 
keeps. Having said that, Williamson going side by side with Pomfrey here. They might just be trading places for now, trying to maintain a bit of draft, maintain that momentum, maintain the gap. Five minutes to go in this race. Time is rapidly running out for Japan to salvage this. So a few little mini battle packs starting to happen as we see Agawa up the inside and he's going to get the position. So back into the top 10 goes Agawa and also Cornish and Yamanaka also going at it as Agawa. Massive, massive slide from him. Yeah, this is really pushing hard at this stage in the race. Got to remember the track is quite hot as well. 42 degrees, so... The longer they are out there, the slicker the track is becoming, the twitchier those trucks are. So they've got to be very careful in these latter stages. Humphrey and Williamson maintaining those last two spots in the top ten. Looks to me like uh, Nishiguchi and Ogawa, they're just not able to get up to the back of them and get that move done. It's uh, turning into a pretty intense fight. And the one thing, too, about this is there's not much time in between this and the second race. So if you're not feeling too comfortable with how your truck's behaving, you haven't got a huge amount of time to tweak it, and possibly no time at all to tweak it and try and work out what a tweak will do. So uh, conditions are going to be really, really tough for the drivers for the next race if they're not happy with their truck performance in this one right now. Is, uh, back to that battle for 10th. Very, very intense once again. Yes, indeed. It's uh, getting quite heated as Pomfrey and Williamson have uh, switched places once again. They're doing pretty well there at the moment as 8th uh, and 7th up ahead going at it. That's uh, David Grunnell in the number 4. He's actually a lap down. So he's going to have to let these guys go. Well, maybe not. You might uh, try and hold these guys up to get that secondary pack to close up, but there are rules out there around uh, teammates blocking and, and the like, and that can actually result in points penalties for teams. So you've got to be a little bit careful about uh, potentially blocking other drivers while you are a lap down. You can get uh, penalised. There is live race control for this race. It's Tam oh. Takamori, big slide, and now he's going to come under pressure from Fraser oh, Williamson. Close him up. This has really closed up this pack. Williamson goes right on by to take seventh, and Palmfrey's going to try and follow him through, but Takamori has the outside line. He can maintain that momentum. Was that a little bit of a slide from Williamson? He's lost that run. Oh, Takamori Whoa. right to the inside, threading the needle. Fantastic driving. Great move to get that done. There wasn't much room there, but he just thread the needle perfectly. Run a little bit high now. Williamson might come back. The front of the field, there's not a huge amount of changes going on. Marcel, stay with his pack. At the moment, Pomfrey oh, is slide. in 10th. Oh. So Pomfrey now, the 10th position truck. Actually, just going to go up the field a little bit because it is on for 5th and 6th too. That guy holding on from Cornish. White flag will come out this time. What an intense fight. Yeah, this is pretty intense. Cornish, I noticed a tiny bit of a slide behind Nagai. Of course, uh, the guy in the road race, he had uh, some pretty poor luck. So he's on a bit of a redemption drive for the rest of tonight. Looks to me like he may hold him off. This battle, though, for the last four positions in the top ten, well and truly oh, on. Man, big oh. slide. He's got no rears left, and Williamson's going to round him up. But he's got to watch out for that number nine truck. Yeah, got to be careful there. Oh. That's Nishiguchi. Well. Three wide. Oh, here we go, boys. Williamson. Oh, Williamson. Wide. Oh, oh no. there he goes. Oh. Didn't collect anyone, though. Amazing. How lucky. Amazing. Well done to Dave Walsh on a dominant drive. He'll start from the rear of the grid for the next one in just a couple of minutes. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how the points have played out from that one because it is going to be close. We've got... I think we've got five from each team inside the top ten, so that will make it fairly close when we uh, get the points tallied in just a moment with the official results up on screen. Yes, indeed. Dave Walsh taking the win, and Christian Challoner marching his way through the field from 14th to 2nd. Hiroshi Shimizu gives Japan a podium. And uh, 
Daisuke Yamanaka. Um, I'm I'm very sorry, Jay. My uh, my timing's just gone. Ah. Hello, Jay. Turn, turn, Welcome turn back. my mic microphone <laughs> back on. We've got the results up on screen, so it's not the end of the world. We'll just have them up on screen for a minute. Because we've got no, no time at all. We're going to get straight into the second race right now. It, it's literally, when we say it's a quick turnaround, it is a very, very quick turnaround. It certainly is. I'm just noticing in the InSim driver chat, um, Shuji Aratani um, pointing out that there were some under white line passes. So I'm not sure what race control are going to make of that one. Interesting. We'll, uh, we'll hear back from race control very, very soon around how that will all play out. Um, we're also just waiting for confirmation on points from that round as well. But it looks like it is 77 to 44 in favour of UK and Ireland. It's a reverse grid now, so that if uh, Japan win this heat, We'll have a third deciding heat. So not necessarily about getting the most points, just about winning the heat. Yes, indeed. Of course, if, uh, if, if it is sufficiently close, reminder to everyone out there, we will go for an extra heat to decide the, uh, the winners of this round. So. We are joined once again by Bo Albert. Welcome back, Bo. We'll see oh, what happens in race very, two. very much, race. Yeah, exactly. Race two should be pretty interesting. I caught the end of the uh, race number one there, and well, I thought the play definitely did uh, just as close as you would expect. Then we probably saw in the first uh, round with the Lotuses. This has been a lot closer, and Japan definitely need to make up some ground. And it, I reckon they can because they were very strong in qualifying. I reckon they've got every chance of reeling this back in it, and we go. Yes, indeed. So, Shuji Aratani leading the way here. And uh, Fraser Williamson will be starting just behind him. So, once again, the pace car will be coming in out of these first last couple of turns. Sorry. Aratani holding them very still the green flag flies and he's gone very late and that's a bizarre start because i think um the outside line was held way back that's really strange i'll jump back in again race because bo's uh microphone's having all sorts of issues but that was strange from the outside line i don't know what the intention of that was because it's really disadvantaged the whole of the team like the whole of his team on the outside line there. So I don't know what the, uh, the thinking was there, but we've got a few side by side, three wide coming into turn three, back in the field. Yes, indeed, gotta be careful everybody, because uh, we do have 14 minutes to go here. Fraser oh, Williamson leading and have, yeah, goodness me, quite a few drivers going in there. That's, uh, who is that? Shuji Aratani, Sir Cornish, Chalana, Shimizu and Walsh all going in. Challenge are trying to do the same two races in a row, and uh, Rose Williams are now leading the race. Let's see what he can do from the front. And we saw at the end of the race, 20 laps is not, well, it doesn't feel like a very long race, but with these extremely hot weather conditions, rear tyres are absolutely destroyed well and truly by the end of the 20 laps, uh, especially when they're racing so intense as they are now. It'll be tough for these guys to finish a 20 lap stint once again. Yes, indeed. More drivers going into the pits. Usher, Pomfrey, and Fujisaki all going in. So these guys will be coming out together. So difficult to get these uh, trucks stopped. David Grunnell and Jonathan Rex, meanwhile, lapping together. They're just slowly making their way up. Yeah, just uh, taking their time, mo moving their way forward through the field. I believe they started from the pit lane, so they are a little bit off the pace at the moment. I'm not 100% sure on, on that. I think they started from the pit lane, so they are down the order a little bit, still have to make a pit stop. 
Yep, it's, and uh, everyone... Starting, starting to close up for the lead, though, as well, is that we've got uh, Usher very, very slow out of turn two. He's going to be passed by, it looks like, two trucks there. Yeah, goodness me. Certainly uh, not what he wants there. I'm noticing that in this particular race, everyone's going for very early pit stops. Yeah, I think they saw what Challoner did in that first race and how much of an advantage he got just going straight into the pits while uh, everyone was trying to get up to speed. Which, uh, it's actually a little bit surprising. I mean, there's no tyre stops, so it doesn't really matter too much. You just want to maintain your momentum. So uh, pitting early is not a bad ploy. If you were doing a tyre stop, you probably wouldn't see anyone pit as early as they are. But uh, with no tyres required, might as well jump in early and get it done. Yeah, certainly. David Grunnell into the pits and Shogo Nishiguchi in there as well. So I think those were the last two drivers to enter the pits, unless I'm mistaken. Oh, Only big two. incident! Shimizu on the front stretch! Dave Walsh making contact with him! That is not going to help anybody. And Shimizu, goodness me. Not the best at all. We've gone to a quick replay here, Jay. What on earth happened? Looks like they just made side-by-side -side contact down the front straight. I think they were just both going up into each other. We saw Walsh going a little bit higher and Shimizu coming down a little bit. Yeah, that's going to hurt both of those drivers. At the moment, they are both out of point scoring positions. We come Man. back live. It's on for third and fourth. Yeah. Christian Channel and are trying to get moves done. Yes, indeed. He's uh, currently up behind Shuji Aratani. And they are joined by Ian Cornish as well, who finished uh, in sixth place in the first heat. So these three going at it very nicely. Leaders are in the pit, so will we see these two or these two cars on screen right now be our leaders after this pit stops are done i'm going to say yes oh williamson overshot oh, no williamson oh he's having oh he's wasted so much time getting that going he still isn't in there he's too far to the right now he's finally got to stop but he's technically done two pit stops he's done it oh. that poor of a job uh, everyone else's pit lane time around about 25 seconds williamson still stopped and it's going to be about a 50, 60 second pit lane time for him. But here comes Challoner looking to get this move done to try and take the lead away. Yes, indeed. So Shuji Atani is your current race leader. What a shame for Williamson, though. That's completely destroyed his race. And one of the chances for UK and Ireland to score some more points. Atani going defensive down the front stretch. Just protecting that line. Have a look at this. Challoner. Yeah, but see, Challoner, if he goes too low, he's going to lose that momentum down there on the bottom. You see, it's happening right there. Aratani getting that momentum on the outside with this uh, variable banking at Michigan. Yeah, the outside line is really key at Michigan. You don't realize how much the outside plays an advantage here at Michigan. And as uh, the track starts to heat up a little bit more, we will see the two lines really start to form. But uh, for now, it's that mid to outside line that you want to be on. And if you get stuck too low, driver on the outside will start to squeeze you even lower, which will absolutely compromise any run that you get. Exactly right. And it looks like Challoner has realized that he's not going for those inside moves. Have a look at the run that he's got this time. Oh, Maritani making wow. slight contact with the wall. Very close here at nearly 300 kilometers an hour. Side by side now into turn three. I think he might have it this time. He's got the yeah. momentum up and he's through. He's got to watch out though for the, the cutback from Maritani, but he's not going to be able to get it done. Challenger now leads. What a drive from him. Started in 14th, finished in third in the first race. Started in 14th, now into first. Yeah, that's fantastic, that run from Challoner as uh, Cornish now trying the move on Aratani, but just losing it a little on the inside. All that momentum lost. Aratani's got turns one and two absolutely worked out, but struggling a little bit on entry into three. Just uh, running a little bit wide on entry, which opened the door we saw for Challoner. We'll see him do the same with Cornish and, and potentially let him in. 
halfway through already, Reese. We haven't got much racing left to go, about seven or eight minutes of racing to go. And this is mm. absolutely up in the air right now. Yeah, it absolutely is. Currently, um, it looks like Japan has the most drivers in the top 10, but UK and Ireland are the ones in the higher points paying positions. So it could be very close between these two clubs. Chalinet starting to skip away there in the lead. Naratani, currently Japan's highest placed driver in this race. Still holding off those advances from Ian Cornish. The rest of the field looks uh, fairly settled. Having said that though, Dave Walsh and Shogo Nishiguchi are battling for 10th place right now, the final points paying position. This could get spicy. Definitely will get spicy. And also have a look, there we got the, uh, the lap car of Stuart Pomfrey also trying to come through. It looks like he's pitted and actually taken tyres to try and get his way back through the field. So Pomfrey was in, uh, involved in a little bit of contact in that incident we saw earlier. He's now trying to come on through. But uh, Dave Walsh is starting to close up that gap and just ahead as well. We've got some battles going on, but Cornish is still applying a lot of pressure right now. And this, I'm just working out some sums in my head, Reese. but I think that the points right now are so close that this actually could decide who gets through based on this position here. Second and third could decide it all. Yeah, this is uh, really quite big, this, uh, this battle here for the final podium positions and I get the feeling that Ian Cornish is just biding his time here. He's uh, he's not he's, he's staying behind Aratani but he's not pushing too hard he's not going straight for those moves he's just sitting behind saving his tyres a little bit so that he can make a big move late in the race Dave Walsh looks like he's going to get through now I was about to say before this positional change happening right here, Walsh through so that'll put UK at the moment it'll be 60 to 61 points as Walsh drops back so 58 versus 63 Japan slightly ahead that position second That's and third change. will put UK and Ireland ahead by one point well there, there we go yep almost but can Aratani maintain the momentum around the outside I just noticed Oh, goodness me. Cornish sliding oh. again and again through turns three and four, barely holding on to that truck. Now Aratani squeezing him as low as he possibly can. We've seen how strong Aratani is on the outside through one and two. But it's a little bit tougher for him this time because he's actually lost some momentum coming out of three and four. Over he's under. had to give up this, the position. But yeah, he might come back here at three. Three's where he's looked weakest though, so it's going to be tough ask for him. As it is right now, UK and Ireland win by one point. So this is where it has to happen. 61 to 60 based on my maths. Don't quote me on that. It's probably completely wrong, but it's very, very close. Well, we'll definitely see by the end of it. This race has entered its final five minutes, about to enter its final four. Now, Aratani, I think he will be aware of the significance of this battle. He is Japan's best hope right now to take the win here. Confirmed from the admins. Current standings as they are right now. UK and Ireland 61 points. Japan 60 points. This is crucial. Japan need to get one spot back and this is the only battle pack that they have where they can steal a spot. And you know what? The battle pack might get even spicier because look who is looming in the background of this one. Mark Usher. He could really put the cat amongst the pigeons here and interrupt this battle between Ian Cornish and Aratani. What a fight this is too. This is great to watch. Four laps remaining in this race. This 20 lap oh, race. Oh, and Cornish, big slide. Yep, he's going to go straight there to the middle of the road and Aratani going by this is the moment that Japan needs this is what they need to take advantage of Cornish has no choice but to just yield slightly but have a look coming back that outside line once again oh who's going to take this this is going to be close three laps to go two minutes of racing left oh you couldn't ask for a better finish in this race the format works so good for this 
as it is right at this exact second. Japan win by a uh, by five points. If Cornish can get through, UK and Ireland are through by one point. Now it's gone back to UK and Ireland. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. I've never seen this before. This is fantastic. Oh, oh. Cornish, a little slide, but he's still got momentum. Aratani had to get out of the throttle to not make contact. But he's coming back through the mid corner. The inside's starting to come to Aratani. But Cornish has got the advantage two to go now. And have a look at Mark Usher behind these guys. Four tenths quicker last lap. Yeah, Usher's in Cornish. Coming. Yeah, Cornish will be in Usher's ear going, I need you right now. I need you to get rid of Aratani for me. Get in the way. Just put him back a position if you need to. We help can me, secure help this. Me. Help Dave me. Dave Walsh help also me. trying to get a move done too. This won't affect the result if Aratani can get through. They will still stay ahead by a point. Aratani needs to get this spot. White flag about to come out. Aratani with the run coming out of three and four. This is going to be an intense final lap. Who's going to take it? Will we go to a, a deciding race? It's going to be super close here. So have a look. Ian Cornish going deep into turns one and two. Aratani getting a bit of a run on the exit, but I don't know if he'll be able to get the run done through three and four. UK and Ireland might have this. Yep, UK and Ireland at the moment look like the South Challenger. What a drive from him. He's going to come home in the lead. Oh, We've had a change oh. of position back in the field too, which this might not make any difference if Aratani can get through. It's going no. to hold on. And UK and Ireland, what a result. They're going to pick up the win. But what a fight that was at the end. Dave Walsh is through because Ishiguchi has actually lost out and dropped back to 12th position, which has put Dave Walsh up to 10th. And he might actually steal 9th right at the line. Almost contact. Oh. Well, he thought about making the move up the inside and decided against it because he was below the white line. But what a race. What a battle. This is what the World Cup's all about, Reese. That's exactly right. And very well fought by both Cornish and Aratani up the front that was one of the best oval battles i've ever seen the context just made it that much better so that's the end of that race the results are 63 to 58 in favor of uk and ireland so uk and ireland will go through to the final four next weekend challenger picks up the win from cornish aratani good drive from him not quite able to hold on mark usher in fourth with yamanaka in fifth nagani in sixth Fujisaki in 7th, Agawa in 8th, Takamori in ninth, and Dave Walsh in 10th, Rex, Nishiguchi, Williamson, Pomfrey, Gurnell, and Samushi, the rest of the field who did not pick up points in that race, but what a night of racing we've had race. We're going to do it all again tomorrow, but our friends at RaceBot will have more of this later on tonight. Yep, they certainly will. It's going to be a fantastic one, the World Cup of iRacing continuing on over this weekend and uh, we will be bringing you all of that here on the iRacing Esports Network. We hope that uh, you enjoy the uh, the rounds coming up and uh, I guess we'll be seeing you all tomorrow. Yep, our broadcast tomorrow will be two intense battles. Both the road and oval will be the same two clubs, the fourth and fifth seeded teams as well. So the two closest match teams in pre-qualifying last weekend, the Northwest Club of America and the Club Canada. The next broadcast for the iRacing World Cup will be in about two hours' time. Road racing once again. Road race number three, UK and Ireland versus Italy, followed by uh, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland versus the Oval 3 winner. Then uh, it continues on. As we said, we'll be back at 11 and 12 tomorrow. Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time race, and it's going to be good fun. You and I will be here for those. We certainly will, and we hope that you all out there can join us for that as well. Thanks very much for watching. Congratulations to UK and Ireland for winning that bout and for and to Finland for winning the earlier match between themselves and Japan in the Lotus 79 around Brands Hatch. This has been the World Cup of iRacing. We'll see you next time on the iRacing Esports Network.
following is a presentation of the iRacing Esports Network.